I know. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I want to take also this opportunity and uh, congratulate uh, Senator Mulkomen. I know we have to get used to Just a minute, Senator Tabitha. Senator Kajuang Moses, are you on a point of order or maybe? Oh, okay, okay. Losin, Senator Tabitha. Yeah. Uh, so I want to say, take this opportunity and thank uh, Senator Mulkomen for his new appointment as uh, Waziri of Roads. I know we'll get used now to calling him Waziri of Roads soon. So congratulations, Mokumen. You may never know. Me, I'm very new in this house. I've been an outsider. You may never know, so I'll talk on behalf of the outsiders that we all knew that we had somebody we could rely on when they were in this house. Any time, like me, I know I've gone through a lot of challenges, but any time I was going through those challenges, I know you always called me and assured me that you are behind uh, me and the support that uh, you always give me. And even when I was so wanted to come to politics, I remember you are the first person, you may never know, you are the first person to call me and tell me I've made the right choice. So I'm talking as an outsider, but I know we need more Mulkomen in this house. As we continue doing whatever we'll be doing in the next five years, remember, the outsiders look at us. And me being one, I knew Mulkomen was one of those people that Kenyans relied on. So I'm sure we'll work hard to ensure we fill the gap uh, and uh, enter into shoes to ensure that even us, People outside can rely on us and know that whatever will happen, uh, we have people that they can rely on. And now, being the Minister for Roads, and you've promised that you're going to work for all of us in Kenya, you look not uh, in a political way. I remember, and I know the senator, some of the senators who visited Kiroche, it's about 1.85 kilometers. I'm not whatever for myself, but it's about 1.5 kilometers. But they were really shocked to see the, the pathetic, how the road is pathetic. So, and when I asked the last government to make that, whatever they were asking me, how many votes will we get out of that car road? So I know you'll not be looking at that, you'll be looking at how much is coming from that company. So a company able to pay over 200 million a month should be done its road, which is only 100 million worth 100 million. So for me is to wish you all the best and uh, to say that I'm very sure this government that has come on board and the, 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 the CSAs that have been elected, His Excellency will give them now the free hand to make the decisions because the last government I know we had a government that had all the ministers, 22 or 23, but none of them could make any digital decision. So I'm very sure outside there, the business community, the people of Kenya are watching to see that this cabinet will ensure that it work like the way Kibaki cabinet worked, where Kina Dr. Uburu was assistant minister, and you could even rely on an assistant minister, not even a full minister. So here we are now waiting and watching and praying for you to ensure that that cabinet does what Kenya deserves to be done for. Is it business? Is it creation of uh, the, the jobs and uh, ensuring that you serve everybody, not, uh, depend, not looking at who elected you and who didn't elect you? So, Mukomen, congratulations, keep it up, and I know now we'll feel the fire when it comes now to the, the, the fire that you've come out with from here as a member of uh, Senate. I'm sure we'll feel it, we'll hear it, we'll you get it when you're in the cabinet. Thank you so much. Let's walk everywhere in our counties and find roads are built. And uh, yeah, we start talking of the government of His Excellency because